Welcome to Ami's Punjabi Cooking USA. Today I'm going to show you how to make atta for plain puri, paratha, uh, roti, whatever. It's the same atta. I don't use any salt or ghee or oil, nothing. It's just plain atta. This is about two and a half to three cups of atta. And uh, water is, as you make it, you go along and keep adding a little bit and see how much you need. I really don't know exactly how much. This is two cups. So we'll see how much we use. Maybe all of it, maybe less. But don't put it all in one go. Go slowly, mix it up. And as you mix it, and don't make it too thin because then it'll be difficult to roll your rotis or paranta. I guess it's going to take it all. It looks like that. Now, after I make it, I leave it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours or overnight before I use it to make roti with. It comes out much better. You don't have to, but it just somehow comes out better. Oh, it's going to use all of it. Mom used to say, when the atta leaves all the sides of the dish that you're making it in, you know your atta is ready. That's a good, uh, way of knowing that your arta is ready. Now after you make this, knead it a little bit. And leave it in the refrigerator. It stays in the refrigerator for um, three to four days. Nothing happens to it. It stays really good. And I, there's a, you know there is a lot of variety of arta these days in the market. Uh, my favorite is golden temple regular as you can see it's not very brown it's kind of whitish it's regular golden temple now if you're very health conscious you can use uh, uh, whole wheat but whole wheat uh, if you use whole wheat when you make the roti or paranta you have to eat it straight away you cannot keep it it goes a little bit dry with this atta you can keep the roti or even a day, nothing happens to it. It doesn't go dry. The whole thing is you have to really knead it well. So as I said, it was about two and a half to three cups of atta and about two cups of water. And I didn't use all of it. Uh, most of it is gone. It's only a few tablespoons left here. And then after you're done with this, put it in a airtight plastic box or any dish and uh, leave it there. Just wet your hands a little. Now, if you like, you can dab it a little bit with oil. I'm going to dab it a little bit with just plain water. Now you can see your atta is ready and use it for anything you want, roti, paranta, puri, and uh, it'll be nice. You can leave it uh, in the refrigerator from two to three days and it doesn't go bad. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button.